the top of the that like step right there you can kind of see it you probably actually can't but it's like this wall's done but this here is like not done and then this step is not done either like i don't know what's going on girl anyways happy halloween i gotta clean up the dining table i have to um i, I want to put up some decor i'm like girl i might be having i think peter might be coming too to help us give out candy Hello? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so there's this house like in the neighborhood where like I see it, I'm like, like literally like white house with like black accents, like super modern house. And I knew they would go all out for Halloween and they did, but they added this like big old Frankenstein like in front of the garage. There's always a house in the street. I'm like, I'm trying to be that house. I'm trying to be that damn house girl. She's working on it, okay. <laughs> okay, we got the... 31 nights of Halloween playing. Okay, so the candy's just like laid out right here. We want to actually take it outside. Okay, this is our front yard, y'all. This is our little boo. This right here, we have the little skeleton. And then actually, these little pumpkins were supposed to light up like with uh, batteries, which we bought. And then those little pumpkins are vicious little pumpkins. Also, um, this looks really cute at night. Right now, it looks a little crazy. I don't know if I want people just like, we constantly have to be opening the door. Like, I think it'd be a vibe if we're actually outside okay. hold on let me give them a little tour these little monos are always falling we literally come here like get home at night and they're like flipped uh -huh. you guys you guys are you guys ready to dress up babe take that off I don't want them to think that's normal. I think it's funny if he wears that for like adults. <laughs> Babe. Okay guys, house is coming along. I kind of cleaned up a little bit, cleaned the couches. I decorated up here. I need to get rid of this mirror. I'm not sure why it's here. On top of the TV, I put this. It looks so cute, very cozy vibes. I know it's gonna be there for just like a week. I don't know actually, it's kind of giving me like Thanksgiving too, but I am definitely the person that will usually remove all the fall decor after Halloween. So I don't know if this is gonna stay up for Christmas. I mean for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, but she's cute for now, for today. It is what it is. Oh my god, I put this, well, Brian put this little wreath up there because, I don't know, it was just in my bin. I'm like, well, we already have a wreath outside. Like, what do we put? So it looks kind of cute, right? We're going to move the candy outside eventually, too, because I know we want to give out candy out there. The other side is dirty. And we're still trying to clean up the kitchen. Brian Cito's living room was looking a little crazy, too, so I'm trying to clean that up. But I need to get ready, you guys. I look absolutely crazy and i kind of do want to do like a cute little picture outside so i did a very like natural look i just did concealer with bronzer and blush but like no foundation vibes and i feel like i might be looking a little pale or does it match my i feel like i always just go a little bit tanner but i think we're good i just feel like i look pale because i don't have foundation i just saw the neighbor when i was upstairs getting ready he was like putting a tent in front of his garage so i have a feeling like they are expecting trick-or-treaters so i'm kind of excited i feel like people are definitely like going all out so i'm like ah i'm excited to give out candy and i was like brian i'm like this is our home like we're gonna be here so many years like i i hope the vibes are good you know so it seems like they're good so far mia is here we got our first trick-or-treaters and i literally i don't know why i'm so rushed i'm like it's 3 30 bitch girl it's early well, it's people early start now. like at five come here we just changed them handsome had a little trick-or-treat sweater come on coco coco has a little donut sweater oh you guys look so cute okay guys we literally stopped by to get um some salads from we stopped by to farmer boys to get a salad because i had an eight and i'm also actually gonna come over and she's gonna make pozole but she's still gonna make it i'm like period um i'll just eat for now and um you guys the freaking neighbors like literally everybody's like out like literally going fully all out and i thought we did something i'm like whoa so they literally waited for the day of mm-hmm they literally did like so. our last neighborhood suck suck mm-hmm and even then like we had trick-or-treaters but i don't know this gives me like vibes of like they do it as a tradition i'm gonna eat really quick because it is like oscureciendo already and we want to be like ready i think we are going to give out candy outside because that's giving me the vibe everybody's like outside so 
We're gonna eat really quick. My parents are gonna show up. I think it's the first year I don't dress up. No, well last year we didn't really do much either. I feel like I'm naturally someone that like wants to dress up, but I feel like I was feeling very that vibe of like giving out candy, being like casual and comfortable. You know what I mean? Like very just that vibe. And I don't regret it, Gorge. <laughs> We're gonna eat. Mm -hmm. And we will set up outside. Hello. Do you wanna do? Yeah. Berry, apple, or fruit punch? I really like fruit punch. Oh, thank you. I'll pick up fruit punch. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we decided to set up out here. Myra was like, oh, we gotta give out candy. Not once tried to give out candy. I have a few times. I just get embarrassed. I don't know why. But we have the vibes going on, y'all. Okay, we're down to two boxes of Capri Sun and then pretty much the small candy because the big ones are out. Okay, we are literally down just to the small candy. Everything else is out. Hopefully this lasts a little longer. I don't know. It is pretty popping, y'all. Like, we're out of candy already. My dad's getting more. I'm shocked. Literally shocked. Y'all, my dad came to the rescue with a candy. Okay, gracias. Hi, Wait, 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 wait. Give me a sec. This is my shot. Oh my god. Period. Period, queen. Oh, hi. Just remember me. I'm Trinity. I'm Trinity. Like, love her. Period. Period. She's she's subscribing, y'all. And Jaden, if you're watching this, I hate you. Ooh. Okay, five more candies left, y'all. Mm -hmm. Look at all this. this. Yeah, this is the Eliza and Peter just got here, you guys. We're literally just walking around at this point. Chef and Tina just got here. The queen has arrived. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm heating up the pozole. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm heating it up. We learned this time around because for Briancito's birthday, my mom had made green pozole. Immediately, it like went bad because uh, we hadn't like heated it up in the morning. So yeah, I'm excited to have this for breakfast. You guys, um, I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna have some pozole leftovers. I am gonna um, have some coffee before the pozole heats up. I just want to say that yesterday was like so crazy i was not expecting like what we experienced yesterday was literally what i pictured when i was younger how halloween really was basically like the peak of trick-or-treaters was from i want to say like 5 30 ish till 8 p.m and literally after that it started to really slow down so times have really changed uh because i do remember when i was young we would be trick-or-treating out till like 10 p.m and the trick-or-treaters really stopped by like 8 30 it was like a lot slower but i was flabbergasted you guys we got two big bags from costco plus like the two boxes of the the full-size candies the four plus boxes of, uh, the four boxes of capri sun capri girl sun. we gave them like a full size and then we gave them like you know a little bunch of the the little candies and they would be like would you like to choose the juice you know and they would like choose their flavor so it was pretty iconic in the beginning i feel like a lot of those little kids i'm sure went home like oh my god i got a frick load of stuff my dad in the beginning also because my dad he was like a huge help with the candy like the first trick-or-treater that he gave candy to he literally gave this little girl like i think three or four full-size candies plus like a handful of, i think he was so excited like he gave this kid like four full-size candies i'm like i can't even imagine as a kid getting four full-size candies she's like i gotta, gotta come back later so i told my dad i was like no let's try to give like one full size and like a little handful you know because even during the day like it was still daytime oh thank you baby mm -hmm. nobody, nobody makes coffee like brian i'm done Mm. But yeah, like it's still daytime and there's like so many kids already trick-or-treating dude the neighbor 
had freaking fireworks. Oh, yeah. They were doing a fireworks show as the kids were trick or treating. I was like, what is happening here? It was so iconic, you guys. Literally, like, me and Brian definitely lived our Halloween fantasy. And this year, we didn't dress up. We just wanted to be like those parents <laughs> giving out candy. And it you was very much that funny? vibe. You know how that, that big unicorn and the little unicorn? Mm hmm. That was the neighbors in front. Remember at night, there was, there was a unicorn. But they were like, trick-or-treating like... Yeah, that's why I was like, oh! But, yeah, that was Halloween for us. It was a great success. Now we're gonna have some leftover pozole. But today is like the Angelitos Day where, you know, the souls come for 24 hours. Which I I believe that Brian Tito is with us every single day. I was telling Brian that. Brian Tito's like, what do you mean I'm here every day, you know? But I do want to do like a cute little altar for him. I was gonna wait for the second, or is it the third? Mm -hmm. I think I'm confusing the dates, but today's November 1st, and I just started seeing it because I, I know there are specific days, and I did see November 1st is like El Día de los Angelitos, and I'm like, I want to do something cute for him, obviously. So we're gonna do that today, mm -hmm. celebrate him today, do something cute. So we're gonna log out for now, you guys. Halloween was definitely a success, and yeah, I hope you guys had a safe one, and we will see you guys. And the next one. And the next one. Deuces. Bye.